If you're installing a floating floor, then you need to make sure you allow for an expansion gap between your mat well edge and the floor covering itself. Stair rods do actually do the floating mat well edge. This product is designed to sit on top. You've got a six mil gap from the base of your bar down to the subfloor, and you've got a back plate there just to allow you to fix it to the, the substrate. The floating mat well is available in eight and 13 mil drops this side, just to allow for different mattings to go in there. And you've got two different sizes for your expansion gaps. You've got an 11 mil and you've got a 23 mil. All depends on what you're actually installing. The floating mat well edge will actually accommodate heights from six mil up to 23 mil. If I'm working with a thicker product, is what I need to do is raise my mat well with a bit of plywood or a bit of smoothing compound, anything really, to accommodate the difference in the height from the base plate down to the subfloor. To fix the bars, you need to be using a non-expanding cartridge adhesive and let it set. This is a brass product available in all 10 finishes and comes in lengths of 0 0.9, 1.8 and 2.7 metres. Once the bar's installed, you can then fit your your matting in and again it's designed to sit a little bit below the height of the matting to protect the bar itself it is solid brass and it is very durable but you don't want any unnecessary scratches on top this allows the floor to expand and contract without any restrictions on the floor covering itself